it's that time of year again, our swarming eve, a celebration of unity and peace throughout Equestria. For a once active agent of a secret society, this was what Bonbon bon called a rewarding holiday. Now that her job along with her agency was shut down, this was her chance at a new life. With this new opportunity, she met someone who not only filled her days as an ex-agent with just as much fun and excitement, but she couldn't think of anyone else she would rather spend her time with. This title belonged to her special sun pony, Lyra Heartstrings. Sure, she was odd, but after years of facing one danger after another, nothing would surprise Bon Bon at this point. After leaving one of many stores she had ventured throughout the day, the phrase, shop till you drop, came to mind. It took a bit, but after careful consideration, she had finally chosen her package. But that was hours ago. Now she sat in her house with her mare friend. Lyra had put on a dress for their dinner date, while Bon Bon, blushing furiously, sported a black suit and red tie. I have no idea why you insisted on having me wear this, Lyra. She said, noting a gleeful look the aqua unicorn had while a bottle hovered in front of her. It's all a part of the experience, Bon Bon, said Lyra matter-of-factly. The experience? questioned Bon Bon. Why, yes, said Lyra, pouring the contents of the bottle in her glass. Now, how about it? Shaken or stirred? Very funny, said Bon Bon as the bottle tipped over in midair. Are you still trying to get me to reveal my past work? <laughs> well, why not? said Lyra even more excitedly. What's the fun in going out with a secret agent if I can't challenge her tactics with my own? Straightforward and to the point as always. Bon Bon had suspected that the already obsessive unicorn was going to try and get any information out of her after she had revealed her true identity. So far, her tactics included bribing, making her favorite food, whipping up some homemade recipes, and other things. As far as Lyra knew, she had to step up her game. But inside Bon Bon's head, just one more homemade dish would be all it took for her to reach the danger zone. For tonight's surprise, the first phase was already revealed. The second was about to come out of the kitchen. The hot floating plates positioned themselves on the table, allowing the two mares to see what was in store. Well, considering the former agent was now staring down another homemade meal, she had to exercise with caution. The steamed corn and carrot scent filled her nostrils as the salt and buttery fusion on top was just the starter. On the side was something new, broccoli that had been prepared with pepper, garlic, and olive oil. The buttery corn mixed with the crispy taste of the broccoli and soft texture of the carrots sent Bon Bon's taste buds on a path of no return. She saw the look Lyra was giving her and swallowed. It's good, she said, holding her glass up. I admit defeat, Lyra. The unicorn's ears perked up a little. Her eyes widened with anticipation, her thirst for knowledge about Bonbon's past building. You have surprised me yet again with another well-cooked meal. Lyra's head hit the table with a loud thud. Are you all right? asked Bonbon. I'm fine, don't worry about it, Lyra said, hiding her teary eyes as her forehead throbbed from the pain she had just inflicted on herself. Bonbon bon took another sip of her drink as her alert demeanor subsided to be replaced with a warm smile. Reaching her hoof over, she touched Lyra's, making her look up. Thank you, Lyra, she said, looking into her mare friend's eyes. It was a valiant effort, as always. Lyra blushed and smiled back. But I'm still not telling you. You're so cruel. I didn't make the rules, Lyra, said Bonbon, bon, folding her arms. I am sworn by secrecy and cannot reveal anything else to you. Lyra frowned at losing the battle once again. Outside, snow had just begun falling. The ground was slowly turning white with each flake that stuck. Lyra twirled her glass moodily before sighing. There's one last surprise. But you gotta keep that suit on. Lyra, began Bon Bon. No, really, said Lyra standing up. Just humor me for one more thing. Fine, said Bon Bon, biting her lip. What is it? Without answering, Lyra dashed away to the fireplace and lit it. Next, she focused her magic on a record player and lowered the needle. Bon Bon couldn't help but the smile as she turned around to see Lyra looking at her. May I, Miss Drops? She said, holding out a hoop for her to take. That's Sweetie Drops to you. Bon Bon smirked and rose. She took Lyra's hoof, and together they started to dance. 
the light of the fire and pacing of the music made their moment all the more meaningful. As Lyra kept up with Bon Bon's movements, she grinned victoriously. I knew it. You have done this before, haven't you? Maybe, said Bon Bon as the song began to reach its final notes. The two were so close now that their noses were practically touching. What am I going to do with you? Bon Bon said sweetly. Lyra guided herself the last couple inches. The fire behind them snapped and crackled as their lips met.